I'm Jackson Robbins. I'm a sophomore. I'm from Indiana. This is WrestleWorks. Well, thanks so much for coming from Indiana. We're talking, this is the first Indiana wrestler. And we were saying that Indiana has only one wrestling division. Yep. So how has this past uh, season treated you and overall the high school experience in general for you? Uh, it's definitely been uh, challenging. It's been a good opportunity to grow and compete with tougher level. Yeah, I would say. When did you start wrestling? Uh, seventh grade. Seventh grade? Oh, wow. So you're kind of fresh. How did you get kind of into it? Did uh, uh, family wrestle or it just kind of popped no, up? No, I'm actually the first wrestler in my family. Uh, I think a few friends started wrestling and then I decided to try it out. Oh, dang. That's fun. What uh, made you want to come on to WrestleWorks and basically do this today? The experience and like getting to know like how to do stuff that like college guys can do. I was at a camp with where Jesse Mendes was there and like just oh, learning no how way. much these college level guys know. What, uh, how was that camp? Did he show you like any like interesting moves or was it basic, basically just, I know he's super fundamental. Yeah. What was kind of his whole premise? It's pretty much fundamental stuff, just like uh, shots and all that. Yeah. Did you get a chance to roll with him at all? No. Ah, oh, the rating. Was that was this after he won? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, that's so cool. That that's one it guy. Cool. We we got to get him on the channel and get uh, get some stuff going. So he's a stud. If you could rate yourself on a scale of one to ten, one being beginner in wrestling, ten being you just fresh off the Olympics, what would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? Oh man, uh, I'd probably say a five then. Okay. Yeah. What do you think would you have to do to improve from a five to a ten? I would just say experience and just like constant drilling and practicing mm. as much as you as I can. Yeah. Are you doing like other like clubs? And I know you said you were doing camps, a lot of like outside wrestling, or is it more just focused in school, in school time? Uh, definitely focusing on like school practices and like just getting as many of those in as I can. Sure. Um, coming in here today, is there like one or a couple things at all? Like what, what do you think would be the best thing you could learn coming from this practice? Probably some uh, setups to some shots or maybe like, I know, throw bys or slide bys. Sure, slide bys, stuff those. like that. Sure. Well, yeah, we can definitely do that. We'll uh, we'll start with just rolling around. We can do some sparring, and then we can do technique. And then if you got if you want to do best of three live or oh, yeah. whatever we can do, uh, up to you. And we'll get going. So, a couple things I noticed. I'll say one thing in particular, super strong for, I'd say, especially when you get to a leg, 
the one thing that I think I would change is your head position. Yeah. So like usually on like your, let, let's say you do your sweep singles. How would you usually shoot your sweep single? Yeah, yeah, so this is perfect and this feels really strong. Like once you lift it and push it in, it feels super strong. I just say get a little better head position. So like sometimes even thinking about just jamming like your head like into their rib cage. So like when I shoot you on my sweep single, like I'm literally like hitting you with my head. And sometimes too like, um, it, it's, it's, it is kind of hard to sprawl on you too. So let's say someone does sprawl. Let's say I shoot a sweep single, but then you sprawl, right? My head is up in here so that I can get a little bit closer and I can build up your leg just like I'm like climbing a rope, just like inch and inch and inch. So I think that's one thing, maybe try out just a little better head position. And we were talking about neck strength just yeah. right before this. Um, just really just focus on hitting the guy, but being right here, just sturdy super sturdy. I don't want my head kind of dipped down here because like you're strong here. You're, you're probably still being able to take guys down like you know, but I think you'd be a lot better. Just get a little better head position. So let's drill it a couple times. Wait, wait, time, time. A little more, a little more forehead closer. So a little closer. Yeah, yeah, even that. Yep, and then you can fit. Oh, one thing too, when you're finishing your singles, really bring it up. So this is called hand to heart, taking my hand and I'm putting it up high on my heart. That's how you know this leg is good enough. So really have this tight too. Cause sometimes I saw you were like this, this can get loose. You might've saw me trying to kick out, but if you're like this, it's super hard. This guy can't kick out. Yep, yep. Hand to heart, hand to heart, but sink it. Yep, sink it even more, like punch it in. Yes, see that feels so much tighter. Finish, yeah, sure. Try that one again. Good head position, but really like you can be a jerk about it. Like really hit me as hard as you can. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Hand to heart, right. Yes, yes, I'll finish, spin. Do you like doing that one, do uh, pushing the knee down? Try to, fin try to finish kicking with the back, because one thing, like, especially when you get to higher levels, just, just do that, because if you yeah. push a guy down, it's gonna be harder to take a guy down that way. Yep, nice. Yeah, that's tough. Yep. And hurt, nice. Nice. Yep. Ooh, nice. Yeah, how did, how did that feel compared to the usual ones? A lot stronger. Yeah, a lot stronger. And also too, you, your head was in good position, but really, like when I'm shooting a sweep single, like you can like hit him. Like you see how you, you like put all your weight on this foot? So it's like when you're shooting, you were right here perfectly, but you still weren't hitting him like with your head. So when I shoot, sweep single, boom, I want all that weight on that foot. That's gonna make it a lot easier for me. One more time. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Nice. Yeah, that was probably a, Perfect sweep single there. That felt really strong. You wanted to learn some slide buys. What is the the most common slide by you see you see me hit? Uh, typically. Do, do you use any slide? Like, have you used not, it at all? Not really. Yeah. So here, let me let me teach you the one I usually do. My bread and butter, basically. So I'm gonna start with a hard collar tie, and then this is gonna bring this arm up with this guy. You're gonna probably gonna match me. Now I'm gonna reach this hand over, and I want I want to grab here super tight as I go over your arm, and I grab your tricep from here. I just take a big step, just have everything super stable. Now, because you're super strong, you're gonna be great at this. Just use your strength. So you can look away, sink it, elbow to the sky. I'm looking away and I'm just pulling you down. And you see how I keep this tight? I put my back, my chest on top of your back. So it looks like this. We're collar tied, reach over. This foot doesn't move. You know like in baseball, when we're, we're squishing the back foot? Basically that's exactly what we're doing with that foot. So we're like, we're pulling onto that tricep, we're pulling it through, and we're keeping that tight. So let's try it, we can do it slow here. Yep, 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 turn away, nice. Yes, yes, even a little less of like using my head, it just like, it felt a little strange. When I'm, watch how I'm really like, I create distance here. You were still like super close. See how I create distance? So I don't have to be like head to head. I can use my thumb, press it in your shoulder a bit, and then I can move. Yes, 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 yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Now here's another one. You might have seen me done it to you today too. This is when a guy is gonna collar tie, but it's not on my head. It's like loose. It was like behind my shoulder a bit. So this is this is the one that can only work when this guy's maybe like a little bit lazier on that shoulder and not the head. Same thing, we're gonna collar tie just like we have been, but my hand is just gonna be right at your elbow. Now I'm just gonna like juke step a little bit to the side. Now as I go to the side, elbow to the ceiling, and I just throw this over my head. Same, same finish, we're putting our chest on that back. Yeah. So close, but you have to do a little more, little more pull and throw. 
Yeah, yeah, that felt good. That's super tight too, super tight. Next slide by, this is when it's like, a, I call it the over, or the over tie slide by. So you're gonna be on the inside tie here. I'm gonna reach this free hand over, grab your ear, and I'm pulling your head close to your bicep, like touching it basically. This hand's just gonna reach under by your elbow, and I'm turning away, and I'm just guiding you straight down. This really works. The only reason you're gonna get takedown if this guy's pressuring back into you. So like if you're pressuring into me, like really hard, really hard pressure in, pressure in, pressure in, then I can drop you. But if you're just standing there like stagnant, you won't be able to take him down, but you could still like use that as a setup. Yeah. So like if I'm here and maybe you don't go down, like I, I just turn you, turn you, and you're gonna turn in. Now I can use that as a setup. So it's just like, no matter what, it's, it's super low risk and odds are it's gonna be high reward there. So let's try it out here. I'll try this side. So, so your hand is gonna go over my head. Yeah, have that in tight. Yep, there it is. Now look away. Nice. Yeah. And also too, some guys might uh, can see it coming. So that's why like sometimes if you're collar tied, I'm on your wrist and I'm pushing in, pushing in, pushing in. And then when you push back, then I quickly go up to the elbow because I don't want to telegraph it. I don't want to let them know that it's going to happen. So you can try that too. Yes. Do you hit much slide bys and matches or you just want to kind of like utilize it? Yeah, utilize Definitely, it. as a secondary tack, totally. Because you got, you got your sweep singles there, but then using this as a secondary setup, 100%. Nice. What was your favorite one of those three? Probably just the plain old like first one. Yeah. Just the first one? Let's let's see let's see all three. Nice. Yep. Nice. There it is. Boom. Yeah, that was good. And especially too, you did a good job. Sometimes when you get that over tie slide by, it's really nice to go down to a leg. It's like as soon as I slide you by, and he, as soon as he starts to move, you can go to a leg. So that was really good to see there. What else? Anything other technical wise, you think? Um, maybe perfecting like arm drags and stuff. Arm drags a little bit? Well, the, when, when I work my arm drags, I like to get it off of when, uh, when a guy's posting on me. It's like right here. So what I like to do, just th thumb down, I'm sure you do this too. Yeah. And then you, can, then you can work your drags. Try this, because every time you went on a drag, correct me if I'm wrong, but your head went to the outside. Yeah. It was basically like that. Try this, when you're dragging, put your head on the inside of this arm. So when you post, thumb down, and as I pull it off, I'm going for the drag, but see how my head is on the inside? This, my head, is actually gonna trap this arm against his body. As I drag here, I'm going in from a single leg, and see I don't even hit my knees? Yeah. Head is in your chest, and I'm driving in. And then you can finish just how we were finishing before. So basically, same thing what you're doing, but it's just your head placement. Yep. Yep, nice, yep. And again, but you didn't have to go to a knee. Oh, yeah. So watch how I really, I can use this to pull too. So like, I pull him in. See that? Pulling in, and I'm trapping my head right on your chest, securing that arm. Nice, yep. Yeah, because this, this way I can't really defend with that arm. Nice. Have you ever hit that one, head inside? Uh, not really, no. Yeah, keep, keep working that, that's good. Nice. Nice, yeah, that, that, that'll be really good for you. Try the other side too. Oh, back to the habits. Nice. Yep. Try it again. Nice. Yeah, that felt really good. I'm a guy, I don't do too many arm drags, but that's basically the biggest technique that I would say. Definitely yeah. keeping your head uh, on the inside. Because when I go outside, sometimes what'll happen is that guys can like circle around or we're getting to like a scramble. But by securing that arm there, I think it makes it a lot tighter. So we can go grab some water, we can do some live and uh, finish up. Yeah, sounds good. Let's do it.
Paul, thanks so much for coming down. Uh, what what do you would you say was the best thing that you learned, or something you came out learning? Uh, probably what's going to help you the most is the uh, arm drag, just head, keeping the head inside and just yeah, keeping that power with the head. I would say definitely. Again, you're you're another guy too, who's super strong positionally, and so like those slide bys like were killer. Like we basically did that super quick there, but you were like you were killing it. So definitely, if you utilize like up top. Hey, if maybe the legs aren't working, shooting to the legs, maybe this guy's super scrappy, has good hips, you can always go to the slide by and use that as secondary attack. So uh, that was really good. What do you, are your future plans for high school? What's your like biggest, big goals you want to accomplish? Uh, probably um, placing a state at some point, hopefully next year or senior year. Sure. Are you thinking about even like college? I know you're still super young, but uh, are, you, are you hoping to wrestle in college and oh, yeah. have your sights on any exact universities at all? Yeah, definitely uh, want to wrestle in college. Not sure where. There's not many uh, D2 wrestling colleges in Indiana. Sure. A few D3 and then like a few uh, D1. Well, again, I do have a little gift for you for coming down. We have uh, some hydration for you. Hydration 6, we got a strawberry splash from Rise. So I'll give this to you just to thank you for coming down. Uh, thanks. So yeah, no, absolutely. And you guys watching, you can save 15% off. Use code Caden. But uh, uh, yeah. Do you have any words of advice for wrestlers younger than you to uh, accomplish big goals? Um, definitely don't stop training. Like just train as much as you can, get as much experience, as many tournaments and matches. Sure. It'll be better for you. Absolutely. Oh, I forgot. We've got to talk about the whole transition, right? Yeah. T talk to me a little bit through that. So um, I was at a smaller school with a not as funded wrestling program and was there for three years and then this year I decided to switch to a bigger school with a much better wrestling team mm -hmm. and uh, I wasn't uh, able to particip participate this year because I wasn't signed off by my old school so any sports I did last year sure I can't do this year yeah geez but but you can this upcoming year yeah I mean I can still practice and everything but like yeah geez well that man that's that just stinks but um, I mean regardless you're training now you're doing the right thing so wish you the best of luck and Hope all goes well. So yep. thanks so much for coming. Any last words for the show? No. All good. Perfect. Thanks so much for coming. Yeah, thanks.